Brian Dutch, your men's Aztecs basketball coach, is on the line. And you heard Ernie with the insider there. It's been a tough stretch for the Aztecs men's basketball team. Dutch, how are you this morning? I'm good, guys. How are you doing? We are doing fantastic. You've lost three late games back to back to back. How do you get the guys over that hump? I told them hard work. We're not going to talk our way out of it. We're not going to film our way out of it, although we talk and we watch film. We got to get on the on the court and work our way out of it, and uh, that's the charge, you know. When you're dealing with uh, college athletics, you've got a, young kids that need to learn some lessons, and so we're learning those lessons. Uh, I'm learning lessons, and uh, as a group, we're moving forward, and we'll be ready for the next one. Coach, do you feel like it's mental? Is it physical? Is it technical? What's going on at the end? I think it's a little bit of both, you know. Uh, I've got to call plays that I think are going to be successful. You know, and so much of college basketball is ball screen play and making plays off a of ball screen for yourself or others. At least that was the last game. You know, New Mexico switches all ball screens, and so they switch their 6'10 center onto our point guard. And so we get that switch and we attack it, and then we make plays or we don't make plays. And uh, we made enough plays to stay in the game and get the lead, but we didn't make the plays down the stretch. And so that's the disappointing part. Uh, it's game to game how people are going to play it. So a lot of the strategy is based on what the other team is doing defensively, what reads you have to make and what plays you have to make. And unfortunately, it, you know, it's, it's not as simple as just saying we missed a shot, although we missed a shot. You know, we can't get in our own heads now. We can't get down and say with a close game late, we start doubting ourselves. I'm not going to let that happen. I believe in these kids and I want them to believe in themselves. San Diego State University will take on Colorado State tomorrow night. You'll hear right here on Extra 1360. It's at Viejas Arena. You can find tickets at GoAztecs.com. Brian Dutcher with us now. Dutch, you've been playing a lot of young players. I know that you're not necessarily a young team, uh, but, you know, the Jalen McDaniels, uh, the Mike Mitchells, uh, the Shackles of the world, do you worry that with these games and how they've kind of mounted on top of each other, in your experience, do the younger players have a more difficult time getting over those losses and perhaps it could affect them late in games to have the here-we-go-again moment than juniors and seniors? You know, I don't think so. The, uh, you know, I think I've said this before. You know, youth is resilient. They're, it's more resilient than adults sometimes. You know, they're ready to move on and, and keep playing and, and, and get better. They're excited about opportunity. Sometimes as adults, you dwell on things too long and obsess about them. And, you know, I don't worry about my kids. My kids will be ready to play the next game. These young men have, have given a lot to, to San Diego State basketball, and, and they're giving their heart and soul on the court every time they step out there. But there's lessons to be learned. They're not professionals. They're college athletes. And uh, uh, they're learning those lessons. And, and they're life lessons. They're not just on-the-court basketball lessons. It's dealing with adversity. It's, it's, it's moving on to the next phase or the next game. And so these lessons are being learned by outstanding young men that represent San Diego State the right way on the floor and off the floor. Coach, you talked about this young roster and learning life lessons. Is finishing out games just a matter of experience and being able to withstand 40 minutes of barrage and staying technical and keeping the mind sharp and just executing your assignment at the end? Is it a matter of experience? It, it's, absolutely. Some of it is experience. Some of it is making the right play at the right time. It's, it's a full football game, and you're in the two-minute drill. Are you going to win with the two-minute drill? Right. Or is the defense going to stop you? And we're getting to the two-minute drill, and we haven't been able to capitalize at the very end. Although we put them in positions, you know, sometimes uh, 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 the shot won't fall. The other team, you know, makes a better play than we make. And so, you know, I, you, can't, you can't dwell on all the losses. You have to learn from them. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to teach to the moment. But you can't have them doubting themselves. You can't have them looking at the clock saying, oh, here we go again. You have to tell them you believe in them. You have to believe in yourself. And when the opportunity presents itself again, we're going to win. And that's, that's just the bottom line. We have to believe we're going to win every time we step on that floor. And I think our kids do. Dutch, do you find yourself being more positive, more optimistic in a tough stretch? Yeah, I think, some, I think sometimes when you win – they get a little full of themselves and they think they're just entitled to win. Yeah. And then when you lose, you know, they start maybe getting a little downhearted. And so you have to pick and choose how you motivate your team. And, and when you drop close games, you want them believing in themselves. You don't, uh, they're obviously frustrated from losing. 
So you don't want to add to that frustration as a coach. They know what plays they made or didn't make. We watched, for example, the last uh, three games, last five minutes of the last three games we lost, all close games, two on the road. And you learn lessons from that. Body, body language tells a lot. Execution tells a lot. You're looking for all those things to try to say, we can be better at this. We can be better at this. This was good. It just didn't – we missed the shot, but this was outstanding execution. So everything's a teachable moment. So we try to teach. Uh, when we need to be hard on them, we're hard on them. But when they need an arm around them, we put that arm around them and tell them they're better than they think they are, that they're good. They just have to go out there and show that. Dutch, I know that there was a lot made of Max Montana not playing uh, probably about a week ago, and, and you did say publicly that he wasn't happy about his playing time at Boise State, and he carried it over to practice. But he saw 20 minutes against New Mexico. I, I, I got to think that, well, one, he obviously bounced back and, and gave you what you wanted to see. But I got to think that that's a very teachable moment for your players as well, that if you practice hard, you will play. If you don't, you won't play. But Max obviously returned with the effort that you wanted, and he saw minutes because of it. That's absolutely. He took a tough situation. He learned from it. He came out and busted his tail in practice. So I threw him back out on the floor. And so these kids know there is no entitlement. You put it on the practice floor, you put your work in, and you'll be rewarded with playing time. And so Max played a really, really solid game at New Mexico. And hopefully that will continue moving forward into Colorado State tomorrow night. Dutch, you talked about Colorado State tomorrow night. 8 o'clock tips, 7 o'clock pregame. You've already seen them and beat them one time. What kind of adjustments are you expecting them to make the second time around? You know, Larry Eustace, his teams, you know, reflect his character. They're physical. They're tough. They rebound. You know, they play extremely hard. And uh, it's going to be a challenge. You know, it's, uh, it's Mount West basketball. And so most of the games we're seeing right now are going down to the last two minutes, whether that's us or anybody else in the conference. And so we know it's going to be a fight, and we are going to close this time. We're going to come out with a victory. All right, so tomorrow night, Aztecs will take on Colorado State. Now, Thursday night, we're, we're, we're back at it on the border, Dutch. You, me, John Schaefer, the Brian Dutcher Show, 6 o'clock, hear it on Extra, but come on out. Uh, your chance to ask questions directly to Coach should be a lot of fun. So, again, uh, tomorrow night, VA Haas, Colorado State, Thursday night, Brian Dutcher Show, 6 p.m., live at On the Border in Mission Valley. Dutch, we appreciate your time. Best of luck tomorrow night. Thanks, Tim. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, All right. good luck tomorrow. He said we are going to win, by the way. You heard that. He said we're going to come out with a victory. You heard that. He called. You're right. I he mean, that's all. It. that was virtually a guarantee. He He's like, it. we're going to win. Send that to Sports we're, Center. We're going to come out there. We're going to come out with a victory. I, I got to say – you know, the New Mexico game, it was disappointing. New Mexico, I, I know a lot of people made a lot out of New Mexico's under 500. They were 9-11 and 11 when they played the game. Now 10-11. and 11. New Mexico has been playing really good basketball as of late. That's a tough place to go and play. And it was a disappointing loss because I thought that the Aztecs played one of their best halves of basketball I'd seen the entire season. Like the first half, they were really, really good. Jalen McDaniels is a ton of fun to watch for a redshirt freshman. So, you know, that was a disappointing loss. You just, you can't let there be a snowball effect. They've dropped three in a row. Now. These guys just have to figure out how to shorten the game. The yeah. game's a little long on the young players and you spend your wheels at the beginning and to get all your good shots out, just play it out a little bit longer. And their bandwidth is going to continue to grow over the years as they get. And unlike Bill Belichick, I believe 100% in experience. Experience is everything right. in life. You get better the more you do things. Bill Belichick, by the way, doesn't believe that. I was troll. He troll. does. He does not. Troll. He does not at all believe that. By the way, I like how you say, but uh, you say leveraging, right? We're we're efforting Steve Fisher, as Nick would say, leveraging. Leveraging. We're leveraging Steve Fisher. Hopefully tomorrow, about eight fifteen on the show, talk about and him so we going in the Hall of Fame. Sweet. Really want to? Oh, you want to call call a shot? You got that? And so we know it's going to be a fight, and we are going to close this time. We're going to come out with a victory. Ooh, there it is. I like it. The Dutch. A Fire. virtual Speaking guarantee. Speaking into existence. A virtual, like Lamar says. Yeah, that's it. A virtual guarantee.